Hello everyone, this is Karin and thank you for joining me on this favorite art supplies video. Also thank you for, to uh, Eve Bolt for requesting it. This is the session of my at-home supplies. Actually the pencil and the pens are always, um, are always the same, but I do have a difference between brushes and uh, paper and watercolors, which I will show you later. So this is my pencil and my eraser. My pencil is actually a mechanical pencil I had, I have had since I was twelve. I think you cannot lo you can no longer see it, but it's from Papermate, and it's an O5 in size. The lid lets lids. Anyway, <laughs> the second thing. <laughs> this is yes, <laughs> this one. Um, they are HP and uh, they're from Stadler. I don't mind a little bit of um, of pencil under my sketches, so I don't use uh, watercolor pencils. And uh, my eraser, which is always uh, dirty after a sketch. I apologize, I never clean it after I clean it before. Okay, so the pens. I have tried the Sakura Micron, but I have a very heavy hand, so I tend to uh, consume the nib before the ink is um, is finished. So I have to um, change them a lot. So this one is my favorite, which is the Faber Castell Eco Pigment, and my favorite size would be O3, but I just finished it and I haven't managed to go um, and buy a new one. I have a lot of sizes, so I love them. They're light fast and, of course, uh, uh, not uh, water soluble. Which is the same thing as light fast? No, it's not. But I'm having troubles with my words. My watercolors, favorite watercolors, which are not Winsor & Newton, um, I just used the, the box, uh, are Daniel Smith. I have done a review about them, but I will never stop saying how much I love these paints. They are wonderful, they are light fast, they are very very pigmented, you really need a, a tiny tiny bit to um, get a very vibrant color. They are very creamy also, and uh, seriously, I've had this mm, set for about uh, a year now and I've had to squeeze these little tubes, uh, these are 5 milliliter tubes, I've had to squeeze them out just once. And uh, it's not that I don't use them because I'm jealous of them, but I am jealous of them. But uh, you really need uh, um, very little of it to, uh, to get a wonderful hue, so I really don't need to consume much of them. Which is nice because they cost a lot. And uh, I keep them in uh, this little plastic bag. The reason why I never uh, bring them out of my home is because I'm worried I would um, lose them. And uh, I love my paints too much. They have to stay at home. I'm a jealous mother. Um, okay, so this is the paper. Which is in capitals because I love this paper. I really love this paper. And uh, here I try to do an effect. Uh, um, yes, the blurring of the camera is something I'm trying to fix, but I have no idea what's wrong with it. And back to my favorite paper, which is the Fontaine from um, Claire Fontaine. It's a cold pressed paper. You can see it. Uh, uh, yeah, thank you for pointing it out. Um, it's 100% cotton, and uh, yes, do bend the cover. Bend the cover. Yeah, awesome. Great, thanks. 100% cotton and uh, the reason why I never bring it out uh, uh, of my house is that it's big. It's a 30, um, 40 centimeters uh, uh, big, but I buy them in big sizes because uh, I have uh, invested in a paper cutter and so I buy bigger sheets of paper and I cut them so I can have smaller pieces. And I kind of have double the amount of papers I would uh, uh, by buying the same block, uh, only one size smaller. Anyway, uh, I spare a little bit of money so I can buy more paper. Yes, it's a vicious circle. Here I'm trying to show you a bit of the tooth, not sure I do manage, but I really love it. And uh, yeah, 
this is it for my paper. I've spent too much time on paper. My favorite brushes, uh, of course, uh, uh, you do need to love your rounds. This is my third one, it's a Da Vinci Casaneo. Yes, I've said it in English. Da Vinci, it's Italian. All right. It's um it's synthetic, so it's a bit cheaper than um, natural fur, but uh, it's really awesome. I've used it a lot, and uh, it uh, it can hold a fine tip. Uh, it can do, it can do really everything. I love it, and uh, I've said that one was my favorite. No, this one is my favorite. <laughs> I've spent a lot on this one. It's uh, a Winsor & Newton Series 7 um, brush, so it's natural fibers, it's a uh, Kolinsky sable, and it's for miniatures, which uh, basically means that uh, it's uh, shorter and the point is supposed to help you doing, mm, to do very very small uh, drawings. Here I'm showing you it uh, uh, in comparison with uh, a normal size 4 from uh, Da Vinci, so you can see that the, um, the bristles are shorter and the Series 7 is actually very much pointier than the other one. So yeah, this is why I love it. I have more control over where the paint goes and what I do with it, so I really like it. And then of course you need the one to um, do your flat washes. Um, yeah, this one has uh, emotional, va emotional value for me because I bought it on my trip to New York. It's from Blix. And uh, yeah, I use it uh, to, to do flat washes or just to spread water around. It's very big and uh, does its job pretty well. And it didn't cost, uh, it cost $10 or something. Okay, so these are my third art supplies for the road. Uh, pens and pencils are always the same, but uh, here you have some water brushes. These are um, pin Pentel's uh, Aquash, and they're size uh, uh, small and size uh, big. I do not use the medium because, uh, I don't know, but I prefer the small and the big. Uh, these are perfect because you don't need to um, bring uh, your jar of water around, so I have one less thing to, to worry about. The watercolors. These are uh, Winsor Newton. This set is, um, is Gottman. And uh, yes, I do kind of use them. Uh, um, I throw them around. They have endured uh, some great... Uh, flies out of my bag and they're dirty they're they're basically a set I use uh, uh, I use a lot and it's something I don't mind if it goes lost or ruined but uh, it still has pretty good quality so this is my on the road palette <laughs> really I kind of abuse it I'm so sorry please forgive me and then comes the paper if you had asked me about uh, a month ago, I would have said uh, something else. But right now my favorite is um, the Derwent's uh, um, watercolor paper. It's a smooth paper and it's an A5 uh, uh, block, which is come down only on one side. But uh, I had some A4 sheets and I cut them in half so I can have more refills for my... for this... Uh, it's not a sketchbook for this block and the reason why I love it it's uh, because it's very very smooth and uh, it's made of cellulose so what this means is uh, that uh, watercolor will dry not instantly but very fast on it so it's perfect for on the road when I have little time and I have no time for watercolor to dry but if you're quick, you can still manage to get some uh, smoother effect and uh, not get that border on the, on the border. Yeah, you kind of get me. <laughs> and uh, I keep them all together with this clip. 
and uh, this is a paper I do not recommend to um, for a first uh, pa as a first paper because I've used it as first uh, watercolor paper and I hated it because uh, um, colors dries very fast so it uh, I don't know, it kind of messes up if you're not quick and sure on what you're doing, so um, maybe practice with your watercolor a bit before buying this paper. I wouldn't want you to hate it as I did, because it's really good investment. And uh, I think, yes, the video is over. I've finally done this dubbing all at once. Yes! Alright, now I can go to bed. Thank you so much for being with me and until next time.